hello again so today I'm doing a hair dye review and I will be showing you first how I put on the hair dye I'm gonna show you what comes in the box and then I'll give you my final thoughts at the end inside the box we're gonna have the cream developer which is a B nourishing color cream C fruit oil and peel D after color mask so I am going to put the nourishing color cream inside the developer bottle and then I am going to add the fruit oil ampule and that is just a scent booster. Now I am going to shake vigorously for a very long time. You didn't see me shaking that long but I was shaking for a while. I'm showing you right now what my hair looks like before and it is a very dark kind of violety sort of color but it's fading it's very faded and i do have new growth and my grays are showing as you can see right there my grays are showing again <laughs> so i am going to be applying it oh before i forget so i did apply some aquaphor to my hairline so it doesn't get stained normally that doesn't completely work though um, depending on the hair dye all right so now i am adding that mixture to my hair i always start at the front because that's where my grays are and i want that hair dye mixture to be on my hair for a very long time in that area and then i just start spreading it all over my hair and combing i comb it so that it can um, distribute the hair dye evenly Oh, um, there's also some gloves in the box, by the way, <laughs> and the instructions. So I keep combing it, putting more dye on, combing it, and I do that over and over again. And now I'm going to put on my cap. It's done, and that's from Shein. It's a really nice cap. I love it. All right, so what did I think of this hair dye? Actually, I really, really like this hair dye. I did end up leaving it on for about an hour because I was editing some videos and I totally forgot to take it off before it, but I have planned on leaving it on for 40 minutes. It just completely covered my grays. I'm really happy about that. Not all hair dyes completely color gray, <laughs> even when they say they're permanent. I used some Aquaphor on my, around my hairline and I have used Aquaphor before because I couldn't find the petroleum jelly and it doesn't always work and I am left with lots of stains but this time this hair dye for some reason didn't actually stain my scalp or my hairline um, I did have Aquaphor like I said all over this area right here but other hair dyes even with the Aquaphor it will stain and it'll stay there for a few days with this hair dye it did not stain my skin whatsoever there was like a little bit stained right here um like in this area right here but it just came off really easily and as you can see my scalp isn't really stained like not really it's not at all so that's nice the other thing i noticed is that it when i was um taking it off my hair felt so soft even though i hadn't put on the conditioner yet so that is really good because like i i have to compare it to other hair dyes you know it's not like i haven't used hair dyes before i'm always dyeing my hair 
so I really really like that it didn't damage my hair at all usually with hair dyes when I take them off the curl is completely gone at least for the fair at least when I take off the hair dye and I wash it and I let it air dry the curl is completely gone and then it comes back like um, after a few washes it starts coming back but with this hair dye I feel like it didn't take away my curl as you can see like I still have I mean my hair's not curly it's just like really wavy the smell isn't bad uh, it does have like that green that green little thing that's supposed to be a scent booster and I put it inside the hair dye and it kind of smells like fruity so that's good I can't say enough about <laughs> this hair dye honestly um, it came off really well it wasn't leaving everything the color of the hair dye and I'm gonna see how it performs in the long run I'm gonna see if like how long my hair lasts without the gray showing again so by the time I post this video um, it's gonna be a few weeks from now because I do have others lined up before this one and I am going to tell you in the description box if um, how long it lasted if it had if it has faded yet and then um, in a few weeks uh, maybe a month I am going to write something on the comments just letting you know how it's going with the hair dye if I don't remember remind me <laughs> all right so yeah I mean I really really like this hair dye it's so super cute I thought that it was gonna be a little bit more on the purple side because on the box it does show it to be more like a purple than a red but I feel that it came out somewhere in between. So it's like a red violet instead of it being being violet like it actually shows on the picture. So, I mean, you can see it right now that it's, you can see it a little bit right now. Um, the color of it, it's super cute, but it's not like I said, like it shows on the picture. Obviously my hair is naturally black so I don't have it like really light right now it's I'm still like a dark very dark color almost black so I feel like it's more like black with a hint of red violet right now <laughs> all right so if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below I am not a professional hairdresser, a hair colorist. I am just curious and want to save some money. And that's why I do my hair by myself at home. Plus I'm adventurous with my hair and if it falls off, it's my fault, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so I cannot give you advice um, on hair. I can only tell you what works for me and what doesn't work for me because if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that that's a lot of stuff that don't work for me. All right, so thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. Bye.